amid the quiet of a late May campus, you'll find a few straggler students weighing in. It's an atrocity. On the potential risk to one gigantic college rivalry. It's just a community of Johnny's and Benny's and Tommy's coming together and celebrating a mu mutual relationship within football. The celebration he's referring to, the spectacle of games between two football powerhouses over the last century. It is amazing, it's awesome. St. John students argue this is where they feel college life to its fullest. It's just really intense, it's, it's so packed. Everyone comes out, families, alum, uh, professors, prospective students come out. It's amazing. It's definitely something that one has to come and experience. But with the decision by the Minnesota Intercollegiate Athletic Conference to kick out St. Thomas, this college confrontation is in jeopardy. The St. John's University administration is not officially commenting on the MIAC decision, but the football coach is weighing in on whether to protect the historic rivalry. Head football coach Gary Fashing emailed me today saying he was saddened and disappointed by the MIAC decision. And he says they'll do, quote, everything we can to continue the great Johnny Tommy rivalry. Similar statements from St. Thomas yesterday give hope to these students. Go Johnnies. Who don't want to lose a colorful component of their college life. There's nothing compared to that, no. no. It's a tradition. It is. In Collegeville, Carla Holt, Care 11 News.